Oh, baby, this is what we wanted to see. Now, you know, last week we made a video talking about first rounder from the Detroit Red Wings in the 2023 draft, Nate Danielson. And we talked about how I was pretty much wrong about the way I assessed this player and the impact that he could have. Long story short, he's a lot better than I thought he'd be, and I was very upfront in saying that his preseason changed my opinion as to how this guy could develop into the long term. However, he was not the only first rounder the Red Wings had in 2023, as with a few picks down the line, the New York Islanders first round pick actually acquired by the Red Wings in the Vancouver Philipronic trade, which by proxy was acquired by Vancouver in the Bo Horvat deal, long chain of trades, but essentially, the Red Wings got the 17th overall pick, and with it, they selected a guy that we all thought could have been a top 10 pick if he was lucky, but who did not end up going there. He dropped a bunch of spots down. Let's talk today about Axel Sandin Pelika, and whether or not the Red Wings have the next Eric freaking Carlson in their system. Now pause before we continue with that, I'm just going to say this. If Axel Sandin Pelika gets 100 points in an NHL season, then I'm going to be a very happy Red Wings fan, and I'm sure y'all are going to be too. But am I going to say it's guaranteed? Absolutely not. I mean, 100 points by a defender has only been accomplished once in the past 30 years, so yeah, I get it, I'm hyperbolizing a little bit, but there is good reason as to why we're bringing this comparison up. So. Axel Sandin Pelica is a guy that was supposed to go a lot earlier. You see some outlets like Future Considerations had him at number 8, Craig Button had him at number 5, so the fact that he went to 17th overall and went to the Red Wings is a pretty good steal, and we had been making that fact known ever since his draft selection. However, this season in the SHL, Axel Sandin Pelica has improved so tremendously in terms of point production that right now, in 10 games played, the guy has 4 goals and 2 assists for 6 total points. Now, this is significant because last year in the SHL, the guy had only 5 points in 22 total games played, so he's already bested his last season SHL point production total in half the amount of games, and 4 of these points happen to be goals. And they're pretty good goals, too. Take a look at some of the highlights that are being posted around on social media of ASP scoring. He is doing really good things as a right-handed, mobile offensive defenseman. He's locking and loading from the blue line and firing pucks on goal with blister wrist shots and just finding those laser-accurate shooting lanes to put the puck in the back of the net. The way he is scoring is legitimately like one of these top-tier snipers that happen to just be played on defense. And with the point production pace that he's on right now, he's on pace for 31 points and 52 games played for 21 goals. This would be setting the mark for one of the better seasons the SHL has ever had for defensemen just in general. Let's go over to the SHL and look at all-time season records by D-men in this league. Sure, there are some point-per-game guys that have been played on defense before, but the top goal-scoring defenseman in the SHL's history was Patrick Hursley, who in 2014 had 24 goals. Jan Huko is second with 21 goals. Followed that up by a bunch of other guys in the 2019-18 goal range. And you'll see here that Axel Sandin Pelica is legitimately scoring a goal pace that would put him amongst the best the SHL has ever seen in terms of defenseman goals. Now, I'm not going to say it's guaranteed that he continues doing this and he gets 21 goals in the season, literally tying the SHL's second place all-time goal per single season defender record, but it's a pretty good start, right? In fact, if you go over to some of the tweets made by Red Wings fan accounts and analysts, this is what Ice Hockey Gifts tweeted out responding to the video of Axel Sandin Pelika doing more work after Skelefti AIK's practice. He went up to the different rink where he did extra work with Nick Cronwall. Cronwall mainly worked on hitting with ASP, but also shooting. Linked in the bottom is a video where Cronwall is feeding ASP with pucks down the boards for one-timers, and this right here is just such a brilliant connection. I mean, take a look at that. Red Wings defender legends going out there and helping out these prospects. It's a pretty great story. Cronwall was a big fan favorite. If Axel Sandin Pelica, who only stands at 5'11", by the way, if this guy is able to have even some semblance of what it is that Cronwall was able to do when it comes to Cronwalling people, 
That would be awesome, but let's just hold our expectations back for now. Axel Sandin Pelik is already scoring a bunch of goals and getting a bunch of points. He does not need to be the next Nicholas Cronwall bulldozer of a man at the same time. Just doing what he's doing right now is okay. We had ourselves another tweet by Ice Hockey Gifts after the most recent Skeleftia AIK game. Through 10 SHL games, ASP has 4 goals, 2 assists, and 21 shots on goal, with a TOI average of 1752. He is also a plus 3 and has yet to be on the ice for a goal against. So right away, that is kind of the indicator as to where he is. He's taking about 2 shots a game, he's scoring 4 goals in 10 games, and he has not been on the ice for a goal against yet. That is amazing. Talk about SHL point production here. Through nine games, so before the most previous game that Skeleftia AIK had, this tweet is from October 13th, so it's a little bit outdated, but I think it does solidify just how good ASP has been. Through nine games, Axel Sandin Pelika is the SHL defender goal scoring leader and the Skeleftia goal scoring leader among all players. You could see that for the section of the SHL back then, 18-year-old Axel Sandin Pelika was first in goals, beating out guys who are 28, 31, 29, and a few other names whom you might recognize. Philip Holm, shout out to him, former Vancouver Canuck. And then for Skeleftia AIK players, he was the top goal guy as well. There's just so many good things about ASP's profile this season, but I think the best thing that we could say is what Skeleftia coach Robert Olsen said. He compares Axel Sandin Pelika to Eric Carlson and John Klingberg, the confidence and belief that they can do anything out there on the ice. He also praised the hard work that ASP puts in towards improving the defensive side of his game. And of course, this tweet went kind of viral amongst Red Wings fan Twitter accounts because, hey, he got a 17th overall guy, most previous draft, and all of a sudden his head coach is comparing the guy to Eric Carlson? And the similarities are mostly with mindset and offensive capabilities. Again, I'm not expecting a 100-point NHL year out of ASP, but what I am expecting based off of what we've seen in the SHL is just an unabashed confidence in the Ozone, compiled with great mobility, a great shot, and just a full competency of knowing what to do to create offense. This guy is a beast, and he's already one of the best SHL defenders in terms of these point metrics and goal metrics that, as a Red Wings fan, you can't help but get excited. The snipes, the passing, the movement in the offensive zone, plus the commitment to working on his defense. He hasn't been on the ice for a goal against just yet, but that's just one of the many attractive things in his profile right now. Long term, I mean, if this guy could become the number one power play quarterback for Detroit, I feel like there would be some sort of an offensive ceiling higher in ASP's game compared to Moritz Sider, but of course, that's a problem for another day. We'll get there when we get there, as a very famous superhero once said. So if you're a Red Wings fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the way ASP has been developing thus far? What are your thoughts on the way he has proceeded throughout his SHL campaign, being one of the top defensive goal scorers and point producers, being one of the top point producers and goal scorers on his own team? Thoughts on how he's going to proceed in the future? What does this tell us about his long-term development plan? And if you have any projections, predictions for what's going to happen later, let's say he plays in the Grand Rapids system next year and makes the Red Wings in 24-25 or whatever, like, what are your thoughts on that front based off of what you're seeing right now? He's only 18 years old, but he is doing incredible things. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this. Vrishar Shros 99. And bye.